Hey guys, it's Missy, and welcome to my first book review. This week's book that I'm going to review is Old Magic by Marianne Curley, and it is definitely on my top 10 list of books to read. Old Magic takes place in Australia because that's where the author is from, and what's really cool about this book is they have a glossary in the back, and it explains what a bunch of different words mean. The girl's main character's name is Kate, and the boy's main character is Jared, and you get both of their point of views. On the top of the page it will say either Jared or Kate, so you can tell which point of view you're reading from. And it gives you a lot of in-depth characterization, and so you're not just getting one point of view from one person. So you get really deep into the book that way, which is really interesting, and I wish a lot more authors would do that. So Kate lives in this town in Australia that's pretty small. I'm thinking it's a little bit like Forks because they explain how it's a really small town and everything. And, um, but they're in this small town and she lives up a big mountain away from the town with her grandmother. She's an outcast and her mom had Kate when she was really young and kind of just dropped her off with her grandmother and left and Kate's never met her dad before. And the reason that she's an outcast is because everyone thinks she's a witch which you find out she is a witch. But not so much in the stereotypical sense as the hocus pocus. She's not like a witch evil, she's a witch with magic. So the day starts off like any other day in school until a new student is introduced and his name is Jared and she feels this instant pull to him and this instant attraction to him and she doesn't understand why. And all the girls in the school really like Jared because he's so cute and everything, and they kind of look past the clumsiness of him. Of course, the bully and the big honcho alpha male of the school, his name is Pex. You heard me right. His name is Pex. It's actually his nickname, but I'm pretty sure you can guess why his nickname is Pex. Pex instantly hates Jared, of course. So Pex does nothing but make Jared's life horrible. So finally, Jared, he's a pretty laid-back guy but he just can't take it anymore from Pex. And so his answer and reply is a giant windstorm in the classroom. Naturally. And Kate thinks this is really amazing because finally there's another person that is a witch like her. Or would it be wizard? Kate thinks this is amazing because there's another wizard like her. But she's not a wizard. And Kate thinks this is amazing because he can do magic like her. She tries talking to him about this, but he thinks that she's crazy, and he doesn't really want anything to do with her, but he humors her because he finds her attractive. And so he's just like, uh-huh, okay, yeah, I have magic powers, yeah, right, what, maybe you're as crazy as everybody thinks you are. Well, bad things happen to his family, and they find out that bad things are always happening to his family, and things lead up to things, and they find out that his family is cursed by this giant curse that was put on them a long time ago. And then finally he believes that he maybe has powers. And the only way that they can take this curse off is because it's so powerful, because old magic is more powerful than new magic, and things have been lost in between. And so what they do is they go back in time to medieval type era and they're going to be going to Jared's family which are lords and ladies because you find out they're kind of royalty and nobles. The spell that they used brings them exactly to the point of time that they need to be. And they have these amulets that they both are wearing and those are their ticket back home. And so they go to this castle where Jared's old, 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 old ancestors are to figure out how they can stop this curse from happening in the first place. Jared is in the future, but he still looks a lot like them. And so they instantly take him and they think that he's just a relative that lives far away that they haven't known before. Because they don't have all those cars and stuff and emails, so they can't really talk to ancestors. Like that. They take him in, they're like, oh yeah, he's family, this is great. But then they see Kate, and back in that time, it's not so okay to be traveling alone with someone of the opposite sex, and you're not married, it's really scandalous and stuff, and so they have to be married to each other. Which you can imagine, lots of awkward things happen. 
So one day, they're at the keep, and they're at dinner, and the doors fly open, and this man strides into the room, and his name is Rauk. Rauk is supposed to be really handsome, and he's supposed to look really young, pretty much as old as Kate and Jared, and he's wearing all black, and his eyes are jet black, and he's supposed to be really, really scary. And they find out that he is a wizard also. The way Marianne writes Rauk's character is so creepy. His whole demeanor is really, really intense and creepy. And his evilness just seeps out of the pages. And you can, like, seriously, you shiver because how creepy this guy is. Rauk gets to see Kate at dinner, and he instantly is attracted to her, and he becomes really obsessive and really scary and creepy, and you're just reading it and you're like, ah, run Kate, run! Which Jared does not like at all, how Rauk is so into Kate, because Jared likes Kate, and they can tell that Rauk is not a good guy, and Rauk is always watching Kate, Kate and everywhere she's going, and basically just being a really big creeper. Well, Rauk finds out that Kate is a witch, and he likes her even more, if that was possible, and he ends up kidnapping her. Jared just freaks out. And the only way that Jared can get Kate back is by accepting that he's a really powerful wizard and learning how to control his powers, because he has to end up fi fighting Rauk for Kate to the death. And while he's trying to learn about his powers and how to control them in like a week to get Kate back as soon as possible, he's also supposed to find out who put the curse on his family, how they put the curse on his family, and how he's supposed to get the curse off of his family. Old Magic, intense book, page turner, I highly, highly recommend it. Five out of five stars. Sadly, it's not a series, it's a standalone book. But it's a really fast read. I can read it in a day. There's romance, there's action, there's adventure. I highly recommend it for anyone. It's a good book for males or females. So read it. Thank you so much for watching my book review. Make sure that you check back next Wednesday for my next book review. I'm doing Gracelyn by Kristen Kishore. It's pretty new. It's really good. And I can't wait to do the book review because there's a lot to talk about. And if you've already read it, you can let me know what you think. Or if you've read Old Magic, let me know what you think in the comment section. And subscribe, and rate, and I love you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.